I read something the other day that 25% of the people don't eat their crust in pizza, and we have a saying that eat your crust, it's good for the planet. Our partnership with the Bread Lab is really forward thinking. So we're working with them to get to a place where we want to go with regenerative farming practices. Since 2009, We've been partnering with King Arthur and they had a vision of moving agriculture forward and wheat growing and baking, of course. We work together on innovation and in, in how wheat is developed, how it's produced, and then how it goes through the whole system to the baker, whether it's a professional baker or home baker. The Bread Lab is looking forward, breeding grains, focusing on causes that we care about, sustainability, regenerative agriculture, organic, farming, and as King Arthur, as a baking company, uh, we look to the Bread Lab to lead us to the future and show us where we need to go to have a positive impact on uh, the community and, and the environment. They're dealing with the problem head on, and they've developed techniques and breeds that are adaptive to the current environment. And the idea is to have tremendous variation in the field as opposed to a single monocrop, a single variety or, or type of wheat that would be on thousands of acres. Here we put thousands of types within an acre. Because if you look at the last six months of last year here, so we had the hottest weather on record, we had the coldest, we had the driest, and we had the wettest. Combine all those combinations, the climate is chaotic right now, we know that. So if we have a thousand types in a field as opposed to one, some may die, some may live. The ones that live will compensate for the ones that die. Genetically diverse in the way that will handle the pressures of the climate coming towards us. The fun part of baking with these flowers is what the colors we get to see, the diversity in flavor. Some are more nutty, some are more sweet, some are more bright. I think a lot of bakers are really attracted to that, that idea. Something new, something different, something exciting. And it's not just about how they perform in the oven, but it's also uh, how they're grown. And so it's really a win-win for all of us if we can have this approach which focuses on our core values and then also we get something that, that works great in the kitchen and tastes great as well. So we get asked often what is regenerative agriculture. To us it's very simple as are you building the soil or depleting it. This crop here behind me and in front of me much of that is, is staying in the soil. That's critical for an agriculture that's looking to build soils as opposed to depleting the soils. Our model is yield up, inputs down, right? And that's beneficial to everybody. It's beneficial to the environment because we're putting fewer things on our soil. Uh, it's beneficial to the, to the consumer because the yield is up and that brings the price point down and more people have access. It's the, sort of the ultimate version of sustainability, is how we look at it. A simple choice can make such a big impact. I think our goal is to bring it to a broader audience and make it more accessible. So our relationship with the Bread Lab is really full circle. So they're breeding the wheat, we're baking with the wheat, we're having an impact on the farming practices. And as this regenerative farming becomes more of the norm, as the wheat makes it into your bag of flour, then we'll be ready to support you and you'll be able to bake with this flour just like you have baked with our flour for years and you'll be baking the same great things you always have and making an impact at the same time. That's what we do. We don't follow industry, we help lead industry forward.